Hey y'all, I'm Sandy. Welcome to Sandy Hearts Crochet Podcast, where we talk about crochet and crochet accessories. Today is Wednesday, November 6, 2024. That means it is hashtag Wednesday Wipeout. And uh, that is where we're doing a year of dishcloths from this catalog right here. It is an Annie's Crochet product. However, I do get mine from I did get mine from Amazon. So I will link the uh, we'll place a link below in the description box for the Amazon link. And I think there are other couple of other places you can get one. Um, but I got mine from Amazon. So yeah, saved a dollar or two, saved a couple of dollars and free shipping and next day shipping, all the good things. So yeah, dollars matter. So this week, what we were to do was the, this is hosted by the wonderful, beautiful, talented, wonderful, Laura, <laughs> Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming, and um, where she draws a new one each week for us to do, and then we show the ones that we've done in the previous week for you. So yeah, we're already on week eight. Let's see, wait. Yeah, this is week eight. So this week we were supposed to do the snowflake, which was supposed to look like that. Cover the pattern, although I can't even follow it much when I have the whole pattern in front of me, much less just a line or two. So that's what it's supposed to look like. It's all pretty and stuff. Looks like a snowflake, right? This one does. <laughs> this is a pattern by Maggie Weldon, which is also the author or the producer or whatever of this book. And um, so yeah, you want to see mine? <laughs> I'm afraid to show it. Not really. I used a... Um, 4.5 millimeter hook instead of the five point that is suggested. Uh, 5.0. My shirt looks wonky somehow. And um, so yeah, I don't know what in the world. Like I said, I should have just stuck with the. You can see how I just tied my corners on. Should have just stuck with the pretty blue one with the white and the and the hanging thing. I think my hanging thing's longer than it usually is. But anyway, so here's my snowflake. Ugh. Dun, dun, dun. I mean, it looks like a snow splatter, not a flake. And I just tied the six corners up. I don't know. Um, I mean, it's supposed to be like... We got some sketchy looking folks in the parking lot today. Let me pause. So anyway, solicitors in the parking lot. We're not supposed. They're not supposed to solicit in our parking lot. So I had to tell him, even though it's for a church fundraiser, church fundraiser. I mean, they should still know. But anyway, anyway, we've got more than just him. He's the. We've just got some sketchy looking folks in the parking lot today. <laughs> Alrighty then. So that's why I had to pause. So my um. I don't know what in the world is with mine. I guess somehow this is supposed to go up and that's supposed to go down. But mine just didn't do that because I don't know. How are you supposed to pico in top of a pico? Don't know. So anyway, that's mine. I mean, I didn't even really like the picos around. But... They look better than those I put in my snowflake, don't they? Ugh, poor snowflake. Snow smash. <laughs> so there's mine for the week. Uh, and I may cut that snowflake off and unroll it and put it back in my <laughs> stash. Uh, the colors I used, good thing I bought that light blue last week, isn't it? Um, it's called Periwinkle and it is a Crafter Secret cotton. And Colors Periwinkle. 100% cotton, number four medium. All the things. It recommends a uh, 4.5 knitting needles and a 5.0 crochet hook. I forget how much is in these. Oh, it says it right there. 2.5 ounces, 120 yards, 71 grams, or 109 meters. So, yeah. But I like the color. And that's the light blue I was talking about I needed last week. So, And all I did... Oops, got a hair hanging was uh, just tie mine in the in the corners. I guess if I had taken the time, 
I mean, I just don't really know because somehow those chain fives are supposed to go down and the other Pico is supposed to go up. But even when I pinned it down, it wasn't really doing right because I feel like this chain five is supposed to go down here and it's supposed to come back up the same, same, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I may cut the, this off and either redo something for the middle of it or I may just cut it off and, and I may just leave it like it is. Like I said before, nobody's getting these and whatever. I may just hang these along the. I may just hang them up on a on a clothesline looking thing and, and just have them all pretty and stuff. So yeah, there's that. So that's week eight of the year of dish claws. And um, so what I will do is so she drew another and I Laura I just forgot to get it in the get it emailed to you. Um, so I'll get that email to you so you can put it with the one for next week and. Um, because I finished it yesterday. I finished it on purpose just to get it to you. And then I didn't. So, yeah. Everybody's looked pretty. Mine's ugly. <laughs> but um, I will link the... I will place the link below for the new drawing of what we will make this week for... That we will show you next Wednesday. And I wanted to go ahead and get this on uh, before my lunch today. Because I tend to drag around... And not get it done and loaded till really late if I wait till after lunch. So, yeah, let's see. I usually put them right in the middle of. I usually put them on the page so I can add them to my stack. Where'd it go? We've got a few more. Let's see. We've got all kinds in here. That's a pretty color, though, that periwinkle. I'm about tired of all these pieces and parts, though. <laughs> what have we not done? Uh, but I know Laura just draws randomly, so she can't help what she's drawing for us. Here's a few more that were in, in no certain order, but this is cute to Santa. What else we got? Christmas tree. That's different I can make uh we can make those uh Christmas tree cakes out of that there's a snowflake a white snowflake we've done the wreath we've done the snowman block we've done the poinsettia we haven't done the poinsettia in a square pretty that's another one of those that kind of reminds me of old timey poinsettias then we have this one candy cane blocks that's kind of strange looking. And then a holiday hexagon. So we still have quite a few left. Christmas lace. And scrubby. Yeah, we still have quite a few left for winter. I mean for, yeah. So I guess that's the last one, yeah. So we still have one, two, three, four, five six seven eight we still have eight more to go so this was week eight and then she drew one today which is nine oh one of them was in here so eight and eight so 16 total that's a nice little number but anyway so i will put the link below to the video where she's drawn the one for this week and you can go to her channel and check out to see which one we're going to make next week if you'd like to join us please do so and um it's hashtag wednesday wipeout and you can either put uh send laura your pictures or you can post them on any of our pages and we love it so you can put it on the cindy hearts crochet podcast page or send it to Laura in an email and she'll uh, include it in the slideshow each week. I love seeing everybody's each week because everybody does such a good job on um, their different color choices and everything. And some people do it. I try to stick to the colors, but um, I may vary shades of the color. So what I used this week was that periwinkle and uh, the white that I've been using. And I bought another white. That periwinkle came from Hobby Lobby. But then I bought another skein of white, um, another little ball of the white from Dollar Tree a couple of days ago. And um, anytime I see a different color in the Dollar Tree, I keep 
I keep doing that because my shirt's bunching up and I'm trying to get it adjusted. <laughs> I'll get it right about the time I log off. Um, so anytime I see a new color at the Dollar Tree, I'm gonna get it just because it's a dollar and a quarter. Um, so that's all for today. I hope everybody's having a good Wednesday. Um, Mama does go in Friday for her second part of her heart calf. So um, I have several prayer requests at this time that I'm needing. My brother is still uh, in a wheelchair and from where he had a stroke in December and they have taken a break on doing his therapy any further. And then I had a cousin, my first cousin uh, had a stroke last week or two weeks ago now and he has yet to wake up yet. So I could use some prayers for everybody, um, the whole family. And then I know there's quite a few, Llama Mama Kayla is in the hospital and she could really, really use a bunch of prayers. Um, and so many others that are uh, in need of prayer right now, whether it be physical, emotional, mental, uh, financial, just whatever your need is, we, are, we certainly need to be praying for everybody. And I guess I will try to see you tomorrow. If not, I'll try to see you Friday when Mama's in the hospital. Um, I do have two or three things. I am about to finish seaming up the... I, I don't need to go into any other things. Today is hashtag Wednesday Wipeout. Thank you, Laura, for helping us out with the choosing of this each week and show it guiding our way. And I will see y'all in a day or two. Love y'all. Bye.